Ready, go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Tinubu Shwar of Victory vows to solve all of Nigerians' problems. Tinubu Shwar of Victory vows to solve all of Nigerians' problems. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate and former Lagos State Governor Ashiwaj Bolame Tinubu yesterday said he is confident of winning the 2023 general elections. The All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate and former Lagos State Governor Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu yesterday said that he is confident of winning the 2023 general elections, just as he appealed to the Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasir Rufai to support his campaign drive. Tinubu said he would solve all the country's problems therefore appealed to El Rufai to stay back in the country and work with him after the end of his tenure as Kaduna Emsman. In his remarks at the seventh edition of Kaduna Investment Summit, he said, I am going to solve all the problems in Nigeria if elected president. I have the ability to surmount all problems to bring the country on the right track and prosperity. I am confidently telling you that I will lead this country in 2023. With your support, Senable said while asking Erufai to remain in the country because we need your creativity at this critical time. Relatedly, Lagos State Governor Mr. Babaji De Sonwolu also yesterday assured that Tinubu will replicate the successes recorded at the federal level if voted into office as president. Speaking at the formal commissioning of the Peace Park in Lagos, Sonwolu said everywhere you go in Lagos, you will see that we are touching lives. There is no place in the state that we are not doing meaningful development. When we make a commitment, we keep to that. You have a government that is truly committed to ask, who is truly committed to what you ask for and what you desire. He continued, vote for APC, Vote for our party, we are not going anywhere. The presidency is coming here. We will show Nigerians how we have done it in Lagos. We will show Nigerians what has worked for us in Lagos that we want to learn the federal government. The All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate and former Lagos State Gov President and, and former Lagos State Governor Ashiwaju Bola Metinubu yesterday said he is confident of winning the 2023 general election. The All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate and former Lagos State Governor Ashiwa Jubala Mertinubu 
yesterday said that he is confident of winning the 2023 general elections just as he appealed to the Kaduna state governor Malam Nasir Rafai to support his campaign drive. Tinubu, who said he would solve all the country's problems, therefore appealed to Rafai to stay back in the country and work with him after the end of his tenure at Kaduna Emsman. In his remarks at the 7th edition of Kaduna Investment Summit, he said, I am going to solve all the problems in Nigeria if elected president. I have the ability to surmount all problems to bring the country on the right track and prosperity. I am confidential telling you, I am confidently telling you that I will lead this country in 2023 with your support. Tinobu said, while asking El Rufai to remain in the country because we need your creativity at this critical time. Relatedly, Lagos State Governor Mr. Babaji de Sonwolu also yesterday assured that Tinobu will replicate the successes recorded at the federal level, he voted into office as president. Speaking at the formal commissioning of the Peace Park in Lagos, Sonwolu said, Everywhere you go in Lagos, you will see that we are touching lives. There is no place in the state that we are not doing meaningful development. When we make a commitment, we keep to that. You have a government that is truly committed to what you ask for and what you desired. We continued. Vote for EPC. Vote for our party. We are not going anywhere. The presidency is coming here. We will show Nigerians how we have done it in Lagos. We will show Nigerians what has worked for us in Lagos and what we want to lend the federal government. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what you